Hello everyone, how are you doing? It's Sinus, welcome back with another video. In this video I'm going to talk about how to get more kills in Rainbow Six Siege and also how to be more consistent. In this video I am going to show you 5 tricks that I have been using for a while in Ranked that help me get more kills and be more consistent. Before that, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content so you can reach 1k subs and also follow me on Twitch. Now to start with the first trick I want to talk about Operator Pick. From two seasons ago, I stopped playing support ops like Ace and Ivana in attack, and ops that I'm not comfortable with on defense. So basically, whatever operator I felt I can play, and give my team some help like Twitch, Ayana, Jaeger, or Smoke, or Valk for example. This helped me to be more aggressive and take more gunfights. So for instance, I would take the ADSs or batteries with Twitch drone, and then I didn't have anything else to do rather than killing the enemies. Now the second trick or let's say tip that I can give you guys is that I was confident in myself. I would take most of the gunfights and in my head I had this mentality that I will win every gunfight. Not only that but I also was confident in my aim. Just to remind you I played only T-Hunt before my ranked games cause I already found my perfect sense for myself. If you are trying to find your sense and improve it watch my sense card video it will help you out. Also want to mention another point. It's really important to get used to different angles in ranked maps and practice them so when you go to ranked you are less likely to die and lose gunfights. Pre-firing those angles is also one of the important factors that give you more kills. Back to this video. This guy's strong. I'm reloading! Oh, go hook coordination. I won't get below. Back to the 190 pushing, get 90, 90, 90. Shield up. Uh, shoot him in the legs. Nice. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Five seconds to go. Third tip I can give you guys is play with good players that Communicate and give info. Going to show you guys a clip. In master. Can you, can you open the door? Now? The bed. I'm gonna. Is he actually there? Yeah, I think he is. Oh, the on the bed, on the bed. On the bed still? <laughs> close bridge, close bridge. Right side, close bridge, right side, close bridge. Standing, standing, right side. Still there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was lucky to play with good friends and players. I know that a lot of you solo queue and it's really hard to win or get kills, but the best thing you can do is to play info ops like Valk, Legion or Jackal, or use cameras and drones a lot. Preplace your camp somewhere and surprise enemy. Fourth one, which was really good for me, is make unexpected plays and take advantage of enemies' mistakes. Let me show you some examples so you understand better. Alright, here's the example. Two of my friends and teammates, uh, one of them Alti who plays Jagger, sometimes he plays close uh, door, close game door, and Tugo who is Kate plays here, holds attic, and he has this holes to throw C4, right? Um, so let's say the enemies get master and then they cut off this angle so no one can push, right? So what my teammates do is, so Alti stays here and asks Tugo to throw C4. So Tuga throws a C4 and the C4 lands here and these guys expect it, right? They either shoot it or like go back, just run. And as soon as Tuga throws this C4, Jagger, which is ulti, comes here, play aggressive or comes here and hide. So this is unexpected plays, um, which the enemies don't expect it, right? Um, enemies mistakes is that they don't take army, they don't drone top army, they don't take top army usually and they don't cut off this angle from top army that's you know if if they had cut off uh, this angle then ulti couldn't just sneak up till here and hide here okay another example for uh, unexpected plays so let's say we're defending downstairs uh, laundry right we, we are defending actually downstairs, right um you're just chilling top uh, freezer stairs and enemies are pushing from a uh, small tower so what they do is they drone all the way here 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 and they, they drone dining and then drone they drone hallway and voices and they see nothing, right? So they don't actually come to freezer stairs to check if somebody's freezer stairs and you're just hiding, right? And you listen, you listen to the sound of the drone and when they go, go off the drone, you start pushing slowly till here, right? And then you just hold this angle. And you know what? The enemies think, okay, we drone here, uh, no one was there. Uh, they made a mistake, they didn't drone freezer. Um, and then they just push and die to you. So that's one free kill for you. And for the last tip, I would say outplaying the enemy gives you more kills. That means lowering the chance of your opponent to win his gunfights. So here's another example for you to understand better. 
We can open cash flow layer. We can open cash flow soon. One guy's first. He's coming. I can drone him again. He's going to hold the door so he doesn't run. I'm holding the door. Yeah, he's on, he's on top yeah, of yeah, the... He's on top here. He's having to make a new group. He might push out to the door. He's dead, he's dead. He's dead. Careful window, careful window, careful window, window jump out. Wait, one bomb, one bomb. And one, uh, gym. Yeah, yeah, one case. Wait, I got this, I got this. Wait, wait, uh, let, let me open that cast back No worries, no worries. Don't go there, Noxie. Don't go there, don't go there. On the gym, on the gym rack. Then one top main or bomb. Yeah, gym rack. Top main, bomb, 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 bomb. 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 Master bomb. Nice, 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 nice. So what happened was that there was one guy in cash who was stuck there because we were holding cash to construction door and after that I just came and opened the wall and that gave my teammate a free kill because the Jagger didn't have any chance to fight him and he had to run. Same with the mute, he was in gym and he had the window cast barricaded. I opened that window so he couldn't just come to the rotation and peek it easily and that also gave me the free kill. So outplaying the enemy really helps you to get those free kills. And that's it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. Uh, I hope I made a video um, different from other YouTubers and other videos that actually help you guys get more kills and improve your KD. If you guys have any questions, you can ask it in comments uh, or maybe in my Twitch channel. Um, the link's in the description and as always, thanks for the support and see you guys in the next video. Crouch on the wall, crouch on the wall, Aruni. Crouch on this plane, crouch on the plane. Yeah, no idea. Wait, wait, wait. Nice.